guys, it's Keely, and today I have a second Ipsy bag ever. So I got really excited when I got it in the mail yesterday. I was like, hey, can't use the products, may as well just open it for you guys. So again, same old bag. Um, I did open it already because I was so excited, and there was really good stuff in there. So I'm not going to be like, oh my god, I know what's in there. <laughs> so the card for this month is, says Dreamer by Ipsy. I think this is Crispy, the YouTuber Crispy. So gorgeous. The back says dream on this month's this month's okay this month create looks that celebrate every side of your unique beauty from natural and understated to high fashion and ultra glam so I guess this one's kind of like an old-fashioned glam um, Marilyn Monroe kind of thing going on so I'm excited about that so as I open up the bag I get this super awesome tie-dye bag I'm so excited for this like is that not adorable like come on is that not adorable I um, love the texture of it. It's kind of like a like a backpack. I know it sounds so weird, but I really like it. I feel it feel like it's sturdy. And inside as well, which surprised me so much, is a brush. So it is by Lexi Beauty. You can get it at www.lexibeauty.com. So throw that out. It is a Lexi Beauty 522 tapered highlighter. So it looks like this. I've never had a tapered highlighter brush. Like I just use sometimes this one and sometimes like a good old fan brush. But I've never actually used like a precise like highlighter. And I'm super excited because my boyfriend got me um, well this a while ago, but I'm too like scared to use it. Uh, the Becca highlighter. So super excited to use that as well. It's super soft, and I feel like it's not going to pick up so much that it's going to waste the product. You know what I mean? It's just going to pick it up and apply it right away. So I'm going to put that in my brush holder. So let's open the bag and we will see what is on the top. So first I saw this Tarte Wonder Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the color... Does it even have the shade in it? It does not. Um, no idea. I believe this is CD75. So it looks like this. It's a little deluxe sample I feel like. And it is the Chubby Sticks. So it looks like this. This is not typically a color I'd wear, but I'm probably just going to put it on now so you can see what it looks like. I wear like dark nudes, but let's get in there. Super creamy. It smells like candy canes. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty. Um, I'm just not like the kind of person that wears this color. It almost looks like, <clears throat> like red, but like with like a peachy undertone, so it is really pretty, um, but I'm probably not going to reach for it that much, just because I said I'm more of like a dark nude wearer. So next in our bag is Moroccan Oil, um, and that is the brand as well, by like, it just says that M, so you guys have probably seen this before, they have like the shampoos, um, the treatments, stuff like that. So it says Moroccan Oil Treatment, so for all hair types, and I have really oily hair, um, oily roots, but like really dry ends, so this is going to be super awesome. I've tried some of their shampoo line before, and I thought it was really great. Like, it had some stuff that made it super soft. And we will see. I haven't even opened half the things. So it comes in like a little bottle like this. You get 10 milliliters or 0.34 fluid ounces. Kind of looks like a little medicine bottle, <laughs> but is it one of those childproof things? smells like candy, <laughs> like vanilla extract. Um, I'm super excited about this, just like when I have damp hair, like I put coconut oil in it today, so I will try tomorrow to put Moroccan oil and see if it does like super good things for my ends, tries to repair the damaged parts and stuff like that, like that's what I'm really looking for. So I will have to see about this later. So uh, two more things in the bag. We have this guy. It is... The Highlight Trio, which I thought was really cool because I've never had like one of these kind of packs before. It is by City Color. Looks like this. You get kind of like a champagne-y color over here, like a dark gold. Um, you get kind of like a rose gold color here, and then it is typical whitish highlight here. So if I can open this, I will. That was really easy. Easily. That was really easy. I can't talk today. <laughs> so let's open this baby up. My nails are so long. I'll swatch first th the first three, which is all of them. That is a really good color payoff, like that wasn't a lot. Um, super excited about that. If you can see, oh my god, 
The gold one is gorgeous. Can you see that? Super shimmery. They don't feel cheap. Um, I know City Color is, you know, a more affordable brand, but I feel like it's not like a cheap highlighter. Like, it'll look great on your skin. Any skin tone would suit this. Um, especially for fair people, I would probably recommend these two. This one might be a little too much um, for your skin, but if you're going all out and you're like going to Coachella, put the gold one on. Right, so last thing in the bag is Juliet has a gun. Okay. <laughs> I remember I first saw this and I was like, what? It is a perfume. Sorry, my hair's like all up in my biz today and I'm not having any of it. It's like half wet. Um, so it looks like this and I was really excited to see the size of it. It is 0.17 fluid ounces, 5 milliliters, but it feels like it's way, it's way more than that, you know what I mean? Like, look how big this is. So it smells like... Like, I really like the smell of it. Have you ever walked into Hollister or Abercrombie and smell like that really musky smell? I love that smell. Like, it's like a manly scent. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, it still smells so good. It's like, as I said, like, it's very musky, like, woodsy. Um, none of that floral. Like, you're not going to get any floral scents. You're not going to get any feminine scents from it. Like, I just really like the more manly scents. Like, I wear Old Spice, you know? I wash with, uh, like, Irish Spring. But I really love the simple packaging on it. You know, just a little design. It says Juliet has a gun. Cool name. <laughs> Points for that. So, yeah, you guys should pick this up or at least go somewhere, like Sephora maybe if they sell it, and smell it. It's just super amazing. I feel like it's everyday wear. It's not so strong that you can't put, you know, one here, one there kind of thing. Um, and I think it would be really great for, like, in your purse. Why does it say not a perfume? Is it a cologne? Confused, but love it. So guys, that was everything in my Ipsy bag. Sorry it was kind of quick. Um, I just realized the last time I made this video, it was like four hours long. <laughs> I was like trying to edit it and like get all my words through and make sure I talked about every product. But this Ipsy bag, again, I am so happy with it. Um, I've only gone two, obviously, but they've been so great to me. Like the products they've given me is stuff that I actually use. Like I got this from last month, if you guys have seen it. It is a Living Proof Dry Shampoo. It smells amazing. Like everyone who smells it on my head thinks it smells like amazing. They're like, oh my god, what is that? I'm like, that's my hair. <laughs> it's dirty, but it's clean. Um, it smells amazing. I've used the products that I got from last month, and I'm like, holy crap. Like, I can't, I can't just wait till next month. Like, I know that they're going to be good products. I'm scared because I've seen people who, like, haven't liked their products that much, you know? Um, the only one I probably wouldn't wear much is this lipstick or lip crayon, but you know what? I can make it work. I can put a little bit of a nude gloss on top, maybe nude it down a little bit, or you know when I'm just feeling crazy, I'm just going to wear it. Um, so Ipsy did a great job on my bag this month. I, uh, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to this beautiful channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!